But ultimately, there is something divine about the words of Christ. Yes, there are times when he does speak as a man, and we accept this because Christ is fully God and fully man. He needed to be fully man because he came here to deliver us from sin. Sin is what separates us from God. Sin came into the world through a man, through the actions of a man. Even though Adam and Eve both partook in it, it was Adam who sealed the deal because Eve ate first and then Adam joined her afterwards. So he, the Bible says where two or three agree on a matter, it shall be done according to, according to them, right? So Adam is the one who is blamed later in the New Testament for being the reason why we have death and why we have sin in the world. So because it came through a man, it had to be taken away as well through a man. But no man was perfect enough to take out away the sins of the world, so God himself had to come and do it. That's what we believe about Christ. And if, if you were a Catholic, if you were a Christian, I, I suspect that now you're probably reading more into Islam because it's like newer and more intriguing. But if you had done the same amount of reading into Christianity, you wouldn't have left we because all, 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 of the, um, all, all of the all of the questions and the answers that you want are all there. Listen, I, I don't think you understand how difficult it was for me as a white Irish guy. I can imagine. To leave. I can imagine. Christianity and come to Islam. I, I know in Ireland, like, like they're really hell of yeah. A lot of research. Okay. A lot of questioning. A lot of this. A lot of talk to bishops, cardinals, priests. A lot. Okay. Do you understand? So it wasn't some. Um, okay. The trend. Do you, do you see what I'm saying? No, that, that's not what I said at all. That's what I said. No, but no, I, but you know, you, you say I would, I would definitely have left. Yeah, yeah, because it, no, you, you wouldn't have left if you had done the level of investigation that you did and are doing into Islam for Christianity. I'm sorry, I can make the same argument with you. Well, you can't because I haven't, I, I wasn't something else beforehand. I was always a Christian. I was no, no, born in the same level of study. Oh, in Islam. well, I, 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 I put a lot of stuff. Well, definitely. So, so I, I have a, a uh, to be honest with you, I have a lifetime of like partial study and then sort of like more intensive study in the last like three years uh, of Christianity, right? I didn't know anything about Islam until I came to this part, but I've learned a fair share. And ultimately, I do not, I can, I can argue for you why it is not the truth without trying to like tell you some conspiracy about Constantine or whatever might have you. But I personally just think, particularly with your background, I'm not saying because you're white, therefore you must be Christian, but this, this country as a whole, has a very long history with Christianity. And there's been a lot of people who have come here from other parts of the world and contributed to the understandings and the theologies of Christianity. You could have looked into them. You could have looked at, looked at Aquinas, uh, looked at Augustine of, of Canterbury. You could have like, looked more into them. And, and still, you. I, I didn't want to leave. Okay. I, I, I did not want to leave. Okay. I didn't, I didn't know any Muslims. Right. Do you understand? But I come across something that was very intriguing. Open up my eyes. I was, it was quite a battle to be honest. So, for example, you didn't want to leave, and you did a lot of studying. My heart but it couldn't, it couldn't, it couldn't. My heart could not like deny it the, anymore. Don't. The Bible, I think, even tells you not to trust your heart. Okay, well, my head, my intellect, even, was the first thing that believed was my head. The Bible also the tells you... The first thing that believed was my head. The Bible... So what should I choose, my head or my heart? The Bible also tells you not... Or should I just blindly follow? So the Bible blindly says... Follow, yeah, yeah, just basically. blindly follow, so, said. So, two, two things, right? The Bible says, lean not onto your own understanding, but set your eyes upon the things of the, of the Lord. So, if you are... For example, even the Quran even says something very similar, right? It says, don't ask questions that will cause you to doubt, right? But it's, it's a little bit different there. Go it's ahead and ask questions. Okay. Go says, ahead. But it says God created all these things for people to observe and, and, and digest. Okay, but then when you ask, okay. You're supposed to use your brain, you're supposed to use your heart, you're supposed okay. to understand this world. Using around. your brain, you can easily understand that Islam is not a religion for the entire world. No, a, it's for, 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 for men of understanding. Yeah. Okay, so you could make the same argument for um, Scientology. That it is only for those who are willing to put their time, effort and money into seeking the answers and climbing the ranks in the religion who can actually attain a true understanding. I would say if God wants to come here and communicate with all of us, he shouldn't make it so hard. Do you know how he would pray? Sorry? If he came here, he would pray like me. But it, can you show me in the Bible? Yeah, where it says he dropped on his face on the 
floor. But the floor. doesn't He's it? Like, but, who joined the gym mat with us? But he wouldn't do that. <laughs> he wouldn't do that because technically you're praying. You're not praying to the Father. So he only ever prayed to the Father, but not Allah. So unless you're so praying to the, pray. Father, Jesus pray to the just, Father. Just back one step. You said Jesus uh, spoke, spoke Let Aramaic. me come back. He Let me come back. Aramaic. And male languages, probably Greek, so probably Aramaic, Egyptian. His main language was Aramaic, right? Well, again, it depends where he was. Because don't forget. That's a historical fact, right? No, because don't forget, he also lived in Egypt for a time. Don't forget that too. But his main language, his main language. What's the main language? Like your main language. Like, language. like, like the, the first one he learned. Probably Aramaic, sure So thing. in Aramaic, what, what's the word for God? Say it's, it. it's not Allah. Say oh, it. Oh, <laughs> it's, it's, it's not Allah. Don't tell us what it's not. Okay, okay, well. Are you well, okay. researching for truth? Right. It's not Allah. Because right, what is it? What is it? What is it? If, if you want to go Ilah. down that route. Just, just ask well, me. no, I think it's actually like, isn't it like Ilaha? Ilah means God. Okay, but that's again taken from the Old Testament where Elohim, like El is ascribed to God in the Old Allah, Testament. Elohim is a Rahim. So that just means that Arabic borrows from Hebrew. No, that's what I mean. attributes that you were saying cannot be yeah, but to God. All that means is that um, uh, Arabic borrows from Hebrew. That's all it means. Because okay. Arabic is a, from Hebrew? Yeah, it's a lot newer of a language than Hebrew, okay. both spoken and written. Okay. So ultimately, if you want to use like um, word sounding fallacies, right? In my language, do you know what Allah means? Madness. In which language is it, sorry? Igbo from Nigeria. Okay. If you say this, so someone's crazy. Then, then, then you, you, you would use the word Allah yeah. right, to describe them, right? right? So ultimately, because something sounds similar, does not mean it's the same thing. Like, like in English, so many words sound the same. A, a tail, uh, a wagging tail with an I-L and a tail with an L-E aren't the same thing. We're saying it's the same thing. It's not the same. Ilaha and Allah are two I'm, different I'm things. I'm explaining to you. Our Shahada is La Ilaha Illa Allah. So there's no God but Allah. So your God's name is Ilaha. Yeah? Ilah means God. So your God's name is Ilaha, yes? Ilah means God. Okay, so it's not Ilaha, it's Allah. Okay, awesome. So it's not, it's not the same thing, sorry. But, but also, to answer your you question... the same argument that you are accusing us of. Wait, wait, wait which was? <laughs> How is it a linguistic fallacy? <laughs> I am saying that because things sound similar, they're not the same thing. Which okay? we agree on, we know. So that would mean that Ilaha and Allah are the no, same thing. No, his argument is that Jesus' religion is closer to us than it is to yours. It's not. The way that he prayed... It, it can't be. I was going to answer that for you, actually. Right, so you're, you're quoting an instance, yes where he fell on his face but he no, didn't not, not just jesus moses abraham yeah Isaac. but the way they the way they did this wasn't in the same position how, that do, you, how do you know they okay so i don't know how but i know he fell on his face it, and i don't see christians do, doing that. do you know what falling on your face means for them frustrating you're like this and then you do this who, who showed you that look at any kind of like description of um of like any of, of of them praying they're not like on their knees as they're doing it right they're on their entire face like when you guys so pray your yes okay. yes so when you pray for example your face doesn't hit the floor it's your forehead right what the, these guys are, are completely like like uh, like like prone okay, uh, okay. So, so, then, then you could have the argument that it's not my face it's my nose on the floor well, well, so essentially, you know what I'm saying? It's so the your, face. your, your, your face, earlier, what the face was, wait, he said earlier what the face was, was a constructed physical form yep. of, of something, of identity. Of, 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 of a number of things that can right, so, identify you, right? So you can't can say it's I identify face. you from your forehead only? Possibly, because I've got a scar there. <laughs> I mean, but potentially, but there are, huh? okay, so, now, now, now to, to, to drum it all off, drum it off, I'll, I'll come up to all of that. Drum it all off, right? In the Bible, we also have Jesus Christ saying not to pray in the street corners, not to pray in the markets, not to pray in public where people can see you. We have descriptions of him going on mountains, uh, uh, secluding himself and praying there. We have a description of him um, putting his hands to the side and casting his head to the sky as he prayed. So Jesus Christ didn't pray in one way. Just as peoples of the world don't pray in one way. There are many other religions that assume the same sort of like stances as Muslims do. That doesn't mean that Islam is correct or they're wrong. People can pray in a variety of manners. Some people pray by jumping over, over fire. So like it, it, doesn't, it doesn't really mean anything, right? But, but to answer your question very specifically, if Christ was here, saw you guys praying here in the corner in a mosque, right? If you guys are not calling upon the Father, 
So why does Jesus pray he's saying no. to us? His argument still stands. It doesn't stand. Because you guys do, you guys do not pray on mountaintops. You don't do... do we pray anywhere. But routinely, <laughs> routinely, do you seclude yourself to go and pray where it's only you and God? Do you do you do you cast your do you cast your do you cast your hands to the side and look to the sky with your eyes open while you pray to Allah? Yep. Okay. Awesome. Now you're praying like Jesus. He's not praying like you. Awesome. Well, well done. All right. Carry on. Oh yeah, that that's true. He didn't do that either. Well, no. It's, it's also that. He, he didn't he didn't say a bunch of like of like Arabic words when he prayed like he, 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 like he, he was he wasn't praying for for Muhammad and his family right. uh, he's not praying for Abraham and his family um, he, he isn't praying to Allah either so the shahad, the shahad actually refers to Abraham and the other prophets as well so he does actually make reference to all of these prophets. he doesn't pray for their families or for them so where no 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 Jesus Jesus, Jesus. I'm talking about Jesus oh, yeah. I'm not. I'm not. Listen, no, look, I appreciate you. Yeah. I appreciate you all. No, 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 no good but God, right? No, no good but God. Look, you, you've, done, you've generally done a good job of like arguing against, you know, our okay. understanding of the Bible. All right. Uh, I hope I've done the same with uh, when it comes to your understanding of the Quran. My only, okay. uh, my only advice is to understand the Quran. Yes, you do need to have some knowledge in Arabic. That is true. So if you actually want to know the truth about Islam, I do recommend you start there with the Arabic language. I don't. I don't subscribe to, so I told you before about local religions. I don't subscribe to local religions. If, 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 if I did, I, I'd go back to my, my old school religion. Uh, because like, like there, we have to like know our language and, and uh, speak in only our language and, and pray in only our language, right? So I don't believe that if there is a maker of heaven and earth, who has dominion over all peoples, that he would restrict his knowledge to a language. Do you have That's any, all. Sorry, do you have any uh, knowledge of like academic uh, legal systems and things like that? So when you study law, there is an element of uh, French uh, requirement for French understanding. Because the French language is not ambiguous in many cases. Okay. So when it comes to the legal system, you can't be ambiguous. So you have to have some knowledge of the French language in that context. Okay. So when you're trying to understand Islam as a religion, you have to have some basic knowledge of Arabic. Ooh, but it's, it can be basic because because like there are many things in so Arabic. Basic enough to understand face and facing. <sighs> That's my point. Um, I don't know about that. There's a, a cacophony of, of other strange things in Islam that you need a, like a degree to understand. That's objective. It's, it's very true. Um, um, my favorite one is all the... Are you familiar with the, with the Alif Lam Ra's, Alif Ram memes? Uh, the, the Oh, okay, so within, within the Quran, yes, yes, you're right, you're right. This is the alphabet. Oh, you're talking about it revealed what we don't understand what it is. Exactly. So like, like in Surah 2, uh, verse 1, 12, verse 1, 11, verse 1, 29, verse 1, oh, and like yeah, 16 yeah. others, right? No one knows what these mean. Yeah, are. yeah. So for example, if you believe that like the Quran is divine and it's from God because of X, Y, and Z, right? And then you can list all these criteria, like um, it's unchanged protected, memorized, easy to remember, contains miracles, right? Yeah. I would say a book from God can't contain any non, like, nonsense statements. So anywhere in the Bible, do you just have it where it says like, like Z, X, Q, Y, X? Yeah, the thing about I guess the Trinity, I'm moving. The thing about the Trinity and them being three, but one God, but Jesus is the messenger, but he's God. To me, that's just as... It's, I don't, I don't it's not in the Bible, you know. It's not, because... Well, so, so the understanding is in the Bible. But, but so, so, when so, you... Now we're touching on something no, else here. That, that, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. Let, 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 let's, let, let's do it, right? Let's, let's do it, let's do it. So these Aleph Lam Ra's, right? Nobody knows what they mean. The understanding for them can't be found in the Quran. And no ulama, no scholar, no sheikh can tell you what they mean. They can only postulate. So I would say, if a book is from God, it can't have any statements in it that are like non-cognitive, that have no meaning. It's not non-cognitive, because what it could also mean is that you are mankind, you don't have knowledge of everything. You don't deserve knowledge of everything. Alif Lam Mim, that's it. Which many scholars have made that that's, that, 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 that's an argument, right? So, Alif Lam Mim is you a... You don't need to know everything. You're not going to know everything. It's not possible. You're but a human being. That's a, that's, that's, so that's an assumption, right? Said we can make it doesn't actually mean that's the case. Yeah, we've got and no evidence. We don't know. Okay, fine. Sorry, sorry. So it's, I would say, it's going to be assumption. You made I would say, about Moses and the language if a and book is from God, it can't have those. That's, that's why I would say. That would be one of my criteria. Right. right? Look, to be, to be a Christian, you have to assume. 
you have to make assumptions. Well, no. Yes, you know, you, you can this. you can make assumptions. I, I I didn't say that first of all, and you can make assumptions that are backed up by the tenets of, of your religion, okay. right? When so, I asked, sorry, when I asked about the language, yes, you said I'm assuming that they translated it in these languages. I'm assuming that these no, people were knowledgeable. No, I, I was language. trying to... They are assumptions. Th that's not what I said. I was, you were asking me what language he spoke. It's on tape. I ultimately don't know what this language Moses tape. spoke. That's tape. fine, that's great. You can go and watch it. So, one is called Soko, S-O-C-O, -O, and the other one is called Revelations 22, 13. By the way, that's just Christ saying he's God, by the way, okay. in, 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 that, in, that, uh, in that verse. Cool. But when it came to Moses, right, I was making assumptions based upon what I know yeah. briefly about ancient Egypt and the fact that Hebrew is a language that wasn't that, that was um, in a proto, in a protographic form in the time of Moses and was developed later yeah. on. Yeah. So that's why I'm making that basis yeah, of. Yeah, but making when, assumptions is okay. No, but I'm making it based off of, of, of some sort of like external evidence. Right. The Aleph Lamb means the Aleph Ram Ra's. You can't actually tell me that it means something or that it means that God is great yeah. outside of the Quran because it's just basically saying in, in Latin, uh, Latin alphabet A, B, C. That doesn't mean anything. You said the Trinity. It's not in the Bible. So wh where are we getting this idea from, right? The idea is simply the Trinity itself, the word isn't in the Bible, but the idea of the Father, Son, and Spirits being God is in the Bible because we don't believe that there are, God has very distinctive features and attributes that only He can have. And if you start applying these things to other things, then by extension, they are also God. If you say that, that the Word of God made, uh, made all creation, and the Word of God came down here and, and dwelt as flesh with, with, with us as a man, which is said in, like, in John 1, 2, and in John 14, that would mean that that, that Word in flesh is God. That's just how, how well, we take that it. That was your argument, not ours. Like, no, but, no, but, that. but that's how we take it, yeah. right? So I am, I am not telling you that, oh, that the Trinity is just a thing that we came up with, right? right. It's derived directly from the Bible. Yeah. Like, we're, we're not postulating. Yeah, yeah. We're simply making a common sense argument. So that's what he did with Alif Lam Mim. But he didn't. he didn't. It's not he did. He did. You referred to his as an assumption, and yours as a scholarly understanding of the Bible. Well, so, so again... They're it, both assumptions. It's, it's not only scholarly, because not only scholars hold, hold this to be true. The Christians hold it to be true, and they have since the very first centuries. You even have writings of some people who talk about this idea. So even like all the way back in like 150, there are people like writing the idea of, of opportunity. There's so multiple schools of thought in Islam. There are multiple schools I, of thought. I'm aware. All of them, all of them come to these kind of conclusions and use them. So all of these different schools of thoughts. Let's, let's, let's keep it here. Let's keep it here. Okay, sorry. sorry. All of these different schools of thoughts that you are well aware of, they come to the same conclusions that this guy's come to, right? No, they don't. Uh, re regarding the, the, the words. No, they don't. No, they multiple don't. Scholars, multiple scholars make the same argument. Yeah, but... You as a human being cannot know everything. I mean, for example, but when like... when he does it, it's an assumption, but when you do it, it's scholarly. It's, it's something that no, is... that's not what I'm saying, right? So, when I talked about the things from the Bible, right? They're not nonsensical. They can be understood. Moses obviously spoke. The Bible says he has a stammer. It also says that he was born up in the house of Pharaoh. Is it wrong to assume that if you're born up in the house of royalty, you're not educated? That you're not educated? Yes, he wasn't a servant there. He was adopted. But no, no, that's fine. But that's fully what it is. Okay. An assumption. Right, but it's an assumption based on external evidence. No. It's based on the lack of evidence. Well, no, not necessarily. That's what because an assumption is. Exactly. And there's a lack of evidence. No, 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 no. Evidence, that, so that's, we're going to assume. That's not what. Enough evidence and assumption. Make it a practice, no, 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 no. Uh, assumptions don't only uh, assume a lack of evidence, that's right? That's a fallacy. That's it's a not a fallacy. I mean, I, I haven't got the of assumptions here with me, but it doesn't assume that evidence doesn't exist, first of all, right? It is a. I can, I can make up a definition, but I'm not, I'm not going to. But ultimately, it does not assume that, that nothing, uh, no actual evidence for a thing exists, first of all. You can make assumptions about things that actually do exist, right? right? Yeah. But it, 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 it can be assumptions that are based with no evidence, and some that can be based with evidence. Is there any evidence to suggest that there is a meaning to Aleph Lam Mim? Yeah. What is it? So, back to the language aspect of Islam. Okay. The Arabic language? Yes. Words are not always as definitive as in English, right? So okay. one word can have multiple meanings. But these are letters, correct? Absolutely. Okay. If words can have multiple meanings, technically, the letters that make up these words can also have meanings. 
In so Arabic, he made, sorry, do letters sorry, have meanings? Just let me finish. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So the argument that he made okay. is that as human beings, and this is an example of that, there are things that you will not know. Okay? Sure. This is something that multiple people agree on. Okay. And that is the reason why we don't know this. We don't know Alif Lam, uh, alif lam Mim, Alif Lam Ra, what they refer to or what they mean. Okay. All right. But the problem is okay. that these are features of Arabic. Arabic They're language. actual letters. The Arabic language. So, I mean, if you understand Arabic, if there's any meaning to an alif, you would know it. All right, so in Islam, we refer to ourselves as slaves, right? Muslim, as a slave yeah, of Allah. Yeah, as an, as so an abid or whatever it is. Yeah. Yeah. Right, a slave of Allah. Okay. So, in that same context, we understand where our limits are as human beings, right? So would it not make sense for that argument to be the case? So how would you identify that a Arabic letter, which in any other circumstance you would understand the use of, in that one instance, is like almost useless in meaning. Yeah, so Islam, like Christianity, is a belief. I okay. believe that this Quran is the word of God, right? Okay. I believe that Alif Lam Mim that is written this, in this Quran is the word of God. Okay. It's a, it's a faith, right? Sure. So you have the same faith. You have Christianity as a faith. But is it backed up by anything? What do you mean? So. When I argued with you about the science and the embryology, you said, yes. oh, that's, none of that is true, it's been disproven. Plus, yeah, well, that's, that's also what I doubt said. I don't understand why we're arguing about the letters instead of arguing about if the book has got everything that is a fact and nothing is wrong, why are we There's many about things the that's wrong in the Quran. Give me something. Dual Qarnay doesn't exist. What? That doesn't du exist? Yeah, it doesn't exist. What do you mean? What, what um, exist? Dual, okay, so Surah 18, go to like, like verse 85 to 101. It talks about this individual called Dual Qarnay. And effectively, yeah, yeah. Good, good, good luck with that. Good luck. Dual. I don't know. Uh, but, but from my understanding, right, he's supposed to be some kind of um, rendition of Alexander the Great, because before you had Muhammad and Islam, there were stories uh, that were made of Alexander from uh, from the 500s that that basically like. Um, severely overstated the works that he had done during the time when he was conquering lands, right? Somehow, these stories find their way into the Quran, but they're spoken about as if they're actual events. So in, in that surah... Like yeah, so like, 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 like that, right? Uh, but, but with like no evidence, essentially. Okay. Um, in the Quran, it talks about Dhul Qarnay going to a place, meeting a people who were being besieged. He built them a wall that stretched between two mountain faces out of iron and then he had them lace the entire wall with copper. Yeah. There is no physical feature anywhere in the world that's like that. And this you mean wall it hasn't been found yet, just like well, Noah's we're not aware of. There's a, there's a, there's a, like Noah's there's a problem with that. In 2003 in the same place there's, where a, the Quran mentioned there's a problem with that. There's a problem with that, right? So, so Noah's Ark is made of wood. Wood decays. You know what doesn't decay? Iron and copper. Particularly if it's not underwater. Actually, I think iron can't. Uh, Copper doesn't care. No, 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 but when, when, you, when, you, when you oxidize it with copper, uh, when you then it doesn't. Okay, well, 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 which is even better, right? Which is even better. So that means that this wall, and then, so let me, let me state one last feature and then I'll tell you why that's even better. So behind this wall, it's supposed to be a bunch of people who will stay there until the end of times. And when the end of days is occurring, the wall will fall down by Allah's permission. And then the people who are behind the wall will flood the entire world and destroy everything until Allah destroys them, right? So if you have this giant wall between two mountains and there are people behind them that are so numerous that apparently they will drink the Euphrates River when the wall breaks down. Yes, fine, maybe the wall will be hidden, but where are the people? Are they subterranean? Are they zombies? Are they, are they, are they uh, again, aliens? No lack, again, again, lack of evidence does not mean... Right. So if a claim is so ridiculous, right, that by all means at this stage, it should be known if there is a giant... Wait, wait, wait. If there's a giant wall with people behind them who are waiting to destroy the world, if that is a fact of reality, we should be able to see it today. So in the same, in the same context, angels, we don't see it. Bible, it's in the Quran, it's in everywhere. Yeah. We don't see angels. Does that, does that mean they're not there? Angels yeah. are not are, are not hu physical beings. They okay, are Japan. spirits. Japan. You can't see it right now, can you? 
I can't like, see it right now. Okay. If there was no media, okay. I mean, you wouldn't know anything about it. But, but it exists. we know it exists because we can travel there either by, by, by sea or plane. But if you haven't, I there, there's, there's but exports. But that's the thing, you have to travel there, right? Okay, okay. So physically, so, you have to go there. So physically, for us to go and do it, we have right. to go there, right? I'm right. Sure. So that would mean that the only way that I can confirm that, that the, the Yeti isn't real... Observational evidence, yeah? So in that case, then you open the window for anything to be potentially true until you go and see it for yourself. So, so th th there could be a Yeti, there, there could be five gods, uh, <laughs> there could be a u unicorns out there too, until you can go and see it. Let me, let me go back a That's how things work. Is there something that you can put your finger at? And say this is incorrect and it's in the Quran. Not something that we have Because you're assuming, no, no, no. Because you're, he's back it, to assuming that yeah, that's he, not true. He, you're assuming it's not true. No, it's definitely not true because, because there are no people. Give me something that we have right now that can prove there's a mistake in the Quran. The fact that we have GPS satellite imagery of so, all the landmass on the globe again, again, and there's no wall. That's fine. Give me something. I just did. Just because that's we don't know where that is does not mean it's it not there. That's a I want a mistake that's, that's in the Quran a, and you can say, right, this is wrong. I, I, that's I, I, a, completely I wrong for a fact. Or, yeah. like, and do you actually think these people are looking for that wall? It's in the Quran. So Who do you think is in all these satellites? Do you think about they're looking for this wall? Okay. If there was a wall I mean, that was as big as the gap in between two mountains, it would literally be one of the seven wonders of the world. If it was found. If it was found. And it should be very easy to find because there are people living behind that wall actively trying to destroy it. So there should be a lot of noise. Is that, is that the only potential mistake that you found in the Quran? Well, that's just like, like one that, that I think is like, like ridiculous. Fine, fine. Is that the only potential mistake? Well, there are a series of inconsistencies. Just give me another one because this is non-existent well, right now. What, okay, okay, so, so that, that, that's very interesting, right? That's very interesting. But do me so, a favor. Mm -hmm. When it gets found, yep. like everything else in the Quran that has come to light. Like it, what? Like a Noah's Embryology. Ark. Embryology. Embryology was not known before. All these other things that we don't need to prove the Quran, firstly, yeah? But when it does come and you say, oh, on the news, they found this big pool, yeah? To say your Shahada. Just, well, just would, you, would you accept Islam if Well. If they were to find the wall, it's right? Interesting. Would you accept Go ahead, if yeah. they found the wall? If they were to find the wall, right? That would be a big problem. That would mean would that... Would be, huh? be okay with it. <laughs> <laughs> well, 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 no, actually, it'd would be... You, a, would you accept Islam? Well, so that, that is not... That's a yes or no answer. That's not enough to... It's a yes or no answer. That's not enough to so make me so accept Islam. Enough, Go on to the second point where there's another mistake in well, the Well, there's, there's, there's effectively nothing that would actually have me accept Islam, right? Because I... I, so I, I that Allah says in the Quran where he showed them signs in abundance, but yet they still disbelieve. Is, is, is that me? Or is that, 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 is is that the, 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 the Christian pagans? If, that, if you find that wall, yep. I, think that would, uh, I think that would be no, you. No, listen, so listen. If you listen. wouldn't believe... Oh, if, they, if they find the wall... If you wouldn't believe one second, one second, that wall, one second, one second. Why are you talking about if, it? If they, if they have the wall, right, if they find the wall, all that proves is that the Quran is right on that one statement. Right, right? and give me another saying, statement that's that A dead clock can be right twice a day. That's fine. So the Quran can be right on one or two things. Good for the Quran. Right, just but give us one more mistake. Because huh? we didn't find mistake. the wall. Yeah, one more mistake. Um, one that would actually convince you if we were to... Th there's, there's nothing that would convince me so about the Quran. Only, so, potentially, the argument, I don't potentially there's so only my, one my, mistake. So, my point is, uh, you were saying that everything in the Quran has a scientific basis. Right. It's been proven or discovered. Science, and no, I am showing you... Everything that is written in the Quran. Awesome, awesome. Science can prove the Quran. It cannot disprove... It cannot disprove it as well. No, so you see, you can just... So, you can easily disprove something if it's provided with no evidence. So, if you tell people, me... People could have disproved about... about um, Very simply. I yeah, have a, a pink unicorn on my shoulder. <laughs> Believe me. Right? No, I can't see it, David. Well, you prove it. It's, it's pointless. If one yeah. day you prove that unicorn exists, then I'll believe whatever you believe. Okay, and in the, in the, in the same way, if you can prove that dual carne no, exists... No, no, you just said you wouldn't. No, no, listen, listen. If you can prove dual carne exists and the wall exists, then I will believe the Quran is right this in that instance. Is, this you? is the same as believing in feelings. Feelings do not... We, can, we can't see them. We can't touch them. Well, that's not what the description says. The description describes a physical wall and physical people. Not, not, so not, not intangible. Because did not wind Sorry. it. Discussing it doesn't Kane. exist because it comes from a story that predates the Quran that isn't true, that isn't real. So, okay, it's a fallacy or a fable, you sorry. Sorry, you mentioned uh, Alexander the Great. Yes. Right? Historically, does he exist as an individual? Yes, he does. So right? there is potential for there to be a connection between the two. Well, because There are schools of thought in Islam that refer to the Quran as 
uh, and yes, it was a great because story. there are things like the the Nashana, right? right. The, the 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 Syriac um, stories yeah. that talk about uh, Alexander the Great fighting yeah. Gog and Magog, yeah. and then and then like like, uh, like trapping them between right. something called the gates yeah, yeah. of Alexandria, which is like, like a small mountain pass, right? Yeah. So those things exist from the the fifth century, right? So yes, you can look back on them and see, oh, the Quran got them from here. So there could be potential right? that this is true. This no, is no, found. no. There's there's potential that. We know that these stories in the Nasana yeah. is a fable. It's not real. Okay. It's it's like it's like making a story about Abraham Lincoln being a vampire slayer. It's not real. Yeah. It's a fable, yeah. right? So we can know that historically these stories were told and written down before Muhammad was around, yeah. and that he must have heard or whoever wrote the Quran must have heard these yeah. and incorporated them in. Okay. Let me just make one statement. Go ahead. The only mistake, potential mistake that's in the Quran is that wall. That's what I said. That's, that's even the only one. if they were to find the wall, you would still not believe. The, the wall, the Basically, wall doesn't nothing mean. In there, if it all came at, as authentic, you still wouldn't accept it, would you? Well, so 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 if it's some, just a yes or if, no if, if somehow like, like Allah shows up, right, and it says, "Oh, I, I am the only only true God," and then starts. So that's what it would take. Well, well, so, so starts doing all, only only Did God Jesus things, right? Huh? Did Jesus do that? For you? Ah, awesome, right? So my belief in Jesus is not just dictated on him showing up here. Right? Because there's a number of things right, that I already believe about Christ and I know about Christ, him being a historical person, establishing the first church, the people of the church going out and preaching to the whole world. Be careful if there's a woman behind you in case, or whatever the case may be. Yep. Yep. Him, 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 making, sta him making statements that only, only God can do and him performing those actions and people testifying to it. That is why I, 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 I believe in, uh, in Jesus Christ as being God. When it comes to Allah, however, Allah to me is a foreign God. Allah has features of a foreign God and then Allah claims to be the same God that is in the Old Testament. If Allah stood maybe like by himself as an individual God, the way that you have like, like, like the Jainists or, or Brahma or, or Vishnu or whatever, right? Then fine, we, we, we can assess Allah on his individual qualities. But then when he's claiming to be the God that I believe in, but is doing completely different things and different actions, then there's a mistake here somewhere. So, for example, any, um, when you look at any of the stories that are told about any of the prophets, for example, in the Quran and their, their interactions with Allah, they are talking about general interactions from the Bible, but they're always changing the details. No, 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 no shall I tell you why it's changed. This is why I believe it's okay. changed. Because in the Bible, actually, yep. it humiliates the prophets. We've got David being adulterer, we've right. got Noah being found naked with his daughters, we've got incest yep. going on. Amongst the prophets, these are men of God okay. who have been given a message. Right. So for me, that is a clear evidence that the Bible has been corrupted and okay. they've made it so degenerate in there with the stories of the prophets that we hold dear to our right. but So now when we have the Quran talking about the prophets, you could never hear anything of such detail. Okay. As you do in the Bible. Do you okay. see the difference? So I see, it, do you see the difference? I see it, but I don't see it as a strength in the Quran. No, I, I see, see a weakness in the Bible. I see it as a weakness for the Quran, unfortunately. The reason well, being that the Quran well, is very devoid. We, huh? Sorry, uh, to, uh, my, my friend, wait, wait, about I'll, I'll what, come to you. About what? The problem I'm seeing is that the Quran is devoid of, of, of a context and explanation. The Quran in four instances mentions um, uh, Muhammad needed his, his past, present, and future sins forgiven. This is in Surah 48, verse 1 and 2. It mentions uh, Noah needing his, his sins forgiven because he was blameworthy, Abraham because he lied, and then Adam because he ate the apple. So it mentions that these guys can sin. Now, if you claim that prophets cannot sin, no, right? It goes, a bit, it goes more than yes, that. Yes, because we have context and detail. We're talking about the Bible. A man so you can take his wife. We're yes, about absolutely. Incest with your daughter. David about, did these things. Lot. Yes, mean? that happened with Lot. But Lot is not a prophet, and Lot did not did not sanction it. His daughters made him drunk, and then took advantage of him. Right? Evil things can still happen. How's it going? No worries, no worries. Evil things can still happen, even to prophets. They are not perfect, they're actually very flawed. But in the Bible, what we see is that... Jesus, right? Well, Christ is God, so he, he can be flawed, right? So that's human, why. Right? He, he, he's, he's has a human nature, but also a divine nature at the same time. So that's why he's perfect, right? Because we have these stories of people sinning against God, erring against God, that's how come we can have hope that damn David was, was, was a great guy, but even he sinned against God. So it lets you know that no one is good but God, as Jesus said, right? So no human being can be perfect. Mm -hmm. The Quran doesn't, doesn't, doesn't agree. It's the same for Jesus Christ. But, but the thing about him is that it's divine too. 
no human can be perfect. So that's why when you have all these stories in the Old Testament, they are actually occurring. Jesus, when you said Jesus is God, when did they first start calling Jesus Jesus? Sorry? When did they first start calling Jesus Jesus? What, what do you mean by this? Are you saying when did we Latinize the Hebrew name? Or no, like, no, what, so what, what you? What's Jesus. his original name? Yeah. So you, you believe it, that he spoke as a, as a child, so, an infant, right? No, that's what you guys believe. That's, not, believe uh, that's again a story okay. from, from heretical texts. Okay. That's not a real story. It's like a made-up story. So did he not speak an infant? Uh, the Bible doesn't, the Bible doesn't describe as such. At so, all? Nope. So he was just a kid when he... Uh, yes. I'm not, because I'm not, but I think the Bible does have a story where Jesus did speak. Okay. It, I think not, not as a kid. I no, that's not the Quran. So if he didn't speak in his infant... When did he realize, as a child yeah. until yes. When did he realize that he was God? Then? Okay, so he was always known that he was God uh, when, when he was at, at, at the inception or whatever magic happens Perfect. in the womb. So Jesus was known. a regular human being, uh, brought up as a human being. Uh, so to speak he had a human womb. nature. Yeah, but yes, he was to speak. and the human nature is yeah. fully human okay. and goes through all the things a human being goes through, right? right? But he also had a divine nature, which is why in all that he did, he never sinned. Okay, so Mary taught him to speak, for instance. Uh, sure, sure, sure thing. His first words were what? I'm God, by the way. FYI. I don't know. That's my point. Well, okay, okay, okay. When did well, he realize? Well, 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 not that. that he, he would have always known. He would have always known yeah. that he's God. So the moment he learned to speak from whoever he taught him, he should have said, you know, I'm God, guys, by the way. So when, when Why did would he, he that say he that? Because before he was born, mm -hmm. Mary was visited by an angel. In yes. fact, the angel Gabriel, who yes. told her okay. that God would, uh, uh, would, would bless her with a child. Debate, All right. Nice meeting you guys. Look back into Christianity again, my friends. Uh, so, in, in your understanding yep. of uh, Jesus Christ and his upbringing, he would have been taught to speak. Well, sure. Okay. Why is God being taught to speak? He created. Because he has a human okay. nature. That's why. He has a human nature, yep. God. Mm -hmm. You're elevating the standard of human nature to godliness, right? How so? You're saying that he has a human nature, God himself, so the creator of humans. God doesn't need to grow. He doesn't need to? To grow, for example, Jesus right? He needed to grow, right? In the human form, yeah, yeah. so uh, that's all. So, he needed so to actually, learn. the human nature is actually below the divine nature. Perfect. That's, I believe that too, right? So, so do we. Why is, it, why is it that Jesus needed to learn to speak, right? If he was in fact God. Because humans learn to speak. But he's God. Yes. So he never stops being God, but he gets tired, he sleeps and he eats as a human. Well, so, you understand where the confusion is though, right? No. So do you not think, do you not hmm? think, so do you not think our understanding of Jesus is more powerful than your understanding of Jesus? No, it can be. How? Because we literally believe that he spoke in his infant. That doesn't make him more powerful. Sorry? Right? That doesn't make him more powerful because your Jesus Christ never defeated death. Ours did. Never well, actually ours did. Defeated death. But, no, no. but, but ours did. So, so that, that even defeating death, I'm sorry, the context of defeating death. What you believe is that he was crucified? Yep. And he defeated death how? The, he he said that he would lay down his own life and raise it up again. So he laid he down his though. life and raise it up again. But he did die. So he and didn't defeat death. He, he did. Came back from he, it. You, well that, that's defeating death. No, no, he came back from it, but he still died. That involves defeating death. He died or not? So you, so you only wait, wait, wait. death only That's wins if you stay dead. Right. Right? right. But he didn't. Okay. He brought himself back up, which is okay, why the, 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 the Bible no, no, calls this, this is an important point. This is an wait. important point. If the I, Bible sorry, calls him the, hospital, the firstborn from the dead. If I flatline in the hospital, yep. and my friend here is a doctor, okay. if they resuscitate me, yep. I've defeated death, no? Well, you can say that, um, um, like, you can say that still, as an expression, still. but the problem is you only bought back through apparatus. You yourself didn't bring yourself back, but right. Christ did. Still, okay. our understanding is more powerful because we believe that he still did not die. No, he's weaker as a result. No, he's, he's weaker. not weaker. How is he weaker? Because he didn't defeat death. Well, he, he didn't did die in not the first place. die at all. Well, he didn't defeat death. Well, so, here's the thing. Look, again, he's a, weaker. We're not going to have this argument back and forth of, yeah. you know, he died, didn't die. My point is, the context that you're giving Jesus Christ yep. is a lot less significant, we believe, than our context. It can be. It's, it's subjective at this we, point. We believe that Christ is the firstborn uh, from the dead. So he is the first one to be resurrected. The first one that has come back from death, the, 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 um, the Bible process, process that, that, that we will all go through at any end of time. But right. there are people so, right here in this world who have died according to science. But and came there's back. only one problem with that. Okay. When Christ came back, he met his disciples. And one of them, Thomas, would not believe he had come back unless he could see the scars on the hands of Christ from the crucifixion and the piercing in his side that was done by the Roman soldier to, to finish him off while he was on the cross, right? Christ appears and shows him the scars from the piercings and the, and the piercing in his side. But somehow, the body that he has, has these wounds on it, but doesn't actually require any assistance. So he's not bleeding out, he's talking to them. His body is now perfect, free from death. Respectfully, if someone were to get into a severe car accident, flatline, rebot back, 
his scars are still there too, right? But Christ is free from death. He'll never die again. Will that person die again? Yeah, absolutely. Everybody dies. Okay, so Christ won't die again. Right. Christ now has the body that we will all have absolutely. when but we this, are resurrected. But my argument is, does that make that individual in the example that I gave as godly as Jesus? Well, he'll die again, so no. He has the scars. You can't prove that. He's not dead yet. Who, sorry? The guy in, the, in this example that I've given. He's not well, dead yet. He, it, we as, know that as, he long as, as long as coming back from uh, the dead from a car accident doesn't make him divine in some sense, yeah. then no, right. he will still die. Just from my knowledge, sure thing. Jesus, after he came back from the dead, yes. what happened? Like, where is he now? Did he die eventually? No, no, he'll, he ne as a human, right? he'll never die again. Okay, so what happened exactly? Where he, did he go? So he, he stayed with the disciples for 40 days, okay. um, preparing them for the mission that he has set them to go on, which is to make disciples of all nations. Then he ascended and told them that he would return. See, we agree on this point. Jesus ascended. That's where we agree. Yeah, he but, didn't die. But here, here, here's the only problem, right? Christ ascended and he's still human. Human beings need to eat and sleep and go to the toilets. Right. right now in heaven is Christ eating, sleeping and going to the toilets. So in Islam, we don't believe that you need to eat and go to the toilet in, the, in heaven. Where, but he, he's there not as a spirit, as a regular yeah, human sorry, being. No, you're asking a Muslim. Okay. As a Muslim, I believe that in heaven, you don't yeah. need to eat, drink, go to the When bathroom. you're resurrected, right? No, no, in heaven. Okay. You don't need to eat, drink, go to the bathroom. So wait, wait, wait a second. So in heaven, yeah. you're still a human being if you are taken by Allah from earth to heaven. So right? you're asking about my physical form as a human yes, being? Yes, yes. So the physical form of Christ yeah. is in heaven, right? Or According no? According to you. Well, we're so saying that Christ has yeah. gone back to no, no. sit on the right hand of the Father. So here, okay. Are Muslims? Christ's not even in heaven at the moment. Where is he? He's in which heaven is it? Which uh, uh, level is he? Is it second? According to Ibn the sack, yes. Okay, let's say it's a second. All right. So he's not in uh, Jannatul Firdaus. Or... But but then technically the Quran says that we raised him to us. So we Allah him, is we above the. Idris, the... We raised uh, Prophet Idris. But not to us. Where's who? Uh, who's us? Uh, to Allah, 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 right? To Allah, right? So where's Allah? Allah is above all the heavens, above the throne, right? Above the throne. So that means Easter is above the throne too, technically. Why? Because. If you were raised to where Allah is, if Allah is in the second heaven, but yeah. instead He's in the uh, so above the throne. You. Yep. I've come to you. Okay. But I'm not where you are exactly, right? Okay, but so there's is, again ling linguistic. Oh, 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 right, right. So, so, so I am a spatial creature, spatially dependent, right? Like uh, for me, th th um, this is me something. Yeah, like Jesus is Jesus. the same thing there for Allah. Is He like a spatially no, bound creature? No, the same creature? thing was there for Jesus, who you're saying is God. So any yes. argument that you make, when I he can was right oh, okay, okay. Jesus awesome, God, awesome. Okay, okay. So, so Jesus, right? Who is God? The created body of Jesus Christ. Yeah. Yes, is a spatial entity. Right. So if, now, yeah. which part of Allah is spatial? If God says, "I see all, I hear all," does that mean God is standing with you on location, or He can see what you're doing and hear? What he, he can see and hear, right? But right. now, if He raises you to Him, what does that mean? Tell me. What does it mean? Okay. I'm so, closer to Him, but I'm not. Yeah. In his so there is possible to get physically closer to Allah. No, what, what the argument is. So Allah is a spatial creature that that ab abides by the law of distance. No, no, sorry. You're arguing something that even you, as a believer that Jesus was God. Yes. You cannot deny. It. Well, I can. I, I cannot deny it because I believe in the incarnation. You don't. Okay. So that, that's your problem. We believe that Jesus didn't die. Okay, There's but he was people. raised to a location. Where was Jesus in Christianity raised? He has gone back to the right hand Who of the Father. Him? Who raised him? He raised himself. He raised himself? Yes. Okay, because he's God, right? Because he's returned to the Father, like he said he would. Yes, yes. Which Father? Huh? Which Father? The Father, who is the first person of the Trinity. So we believe in one God who is he three persons. To, he returned to the Father? Yes. Meaning the Father also has this, what you're saying, what you're referring to? Well, no. no, no uh, it's, it's simply... Double standards. No, it's sorry, not because... What do you mean about reincarnation? Huh? What do you mean by... I didn't say that West. Resurrection. Incar resurrection. Oh, so, sorry. Incarnation, sorry. Yeah. Incarnation is, is uh, the idea of the infinite becoming finite. Yeah. So essentially, uh, the infinite God uh, joining onto himself a human nature to interact with human beings. That's what we mean. Jesus is returning, sorry, just, I, I want to clarify this point. Jesus returning to the Father yep. would have the same context as what you were well, saying. Well, no, because it, it, it doesn't say anything about God being spatial. You said right? he's returned to him, he's gone up, he's so, elevated himself. So, 
to be with the Father. God doesn't talk about a location, right? So the Father doesn't talk about a location where he resides, but Allah does above the throne. So to be above something, that means being spatially so how relational. To, how is it referred to in the Bible? His, he he returned to the Father, that's all. He returned to the Father? Yes. Same context. Okay. There's distance there and he's returning to But him. the Father isn't given a location. Uh, Allah is above the throne. Above something is a location. Okay, but the Father the isn't big. Isn't big uh, well, well, technically, the throne is above the heavens, above the water. Yeah. Where is the Father? Huh? Where is the Father? In the, so, so the Father doesn't have, have a location because the Father is, or, or God, is existence itself. It's existence itself. itself yeah. So your existence here is godly. So, in, in a sense, in that, it, like you believe in the Hadith. Uh, when man was made, at least in, in the Bible, but also in the Hindu as well, man is made in the image of God. So yes, m m m man does have an element of, of divinity to, to him, in that he's capable of like animating himself, creating things, having rational thoughts. The Bible says that God blew the breath of life into Adam. Before that, he was only a husk, like a, 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 a motor from the dust of the earth. So he was lifeless. And that's why we're different from the animals. Well, who said that humans were created in the form of God? In the Bible and in some of the Hadiths. That's, that's in the form of God, you said? So it says that... Uh, in, this image. In, in the image, yes. In the Quran, it says that is completely no, in, Not in the Quran, in the Hadith. In the Bible. In the Bible, it says it, and also in the Hadith. Which Hadith? The Hadith would never say that. It does. Sorry, which one? It would never say that. The source of the, 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 They're in Bukhari. Literally, in the Quran, there's a surah that speaks do you, do you want to bring up? Do you want to bring up your phone? I just go on soon.com real quick. Yeah, so just refer to the, the they have not. Uh, uh, so it says it says this uh, verbatim. Um, do not strike your brother on the face because uh, Allah made Adam in his image. Adam? Yes. And in his image is yeah. in God's image? Yep. Or is in the guy who's being struck? I in, 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 in the image of Allah because it's taken from the Bible. Taken from the Bible? Yes. So, okay, you're 100% sure. You'll never find that. I. Oh, sorry, okay. You're 100% sure that Islam believes that we're in the image of, we've been made... Well, you're going to have to. If you, if you find a hadith like that, that hadith contradicts the Quran itself. Okay, that's fine. Plus, one thing I've taken out of this conversation is that, according to Christians, God had a form, and then after a certain time, He became a different form. He became three things, and He's forever going to be three things. No, He's, he's not, not three things, just three persons. Yeah, yeah, but his form changed through time. No, it doesn't change. But is Jesus going to go back into him? So, it, it, uh, we believe that Christ, that Christ, or the Word of God, eternally proceeds from the Father. So, the Father is the uncaused cause. Uh, the Father is the, is the cause of everything. But in order for him to be the Father eternally, he has to have a son. So by necessity, the Son also eternally um, proceeds from the Father. There is no going back into. Are they going right? to merge? Huh? Are they merge? There is no merging because they are distinct. So the form so they're distinct. distinct. Uh, yes, they are distinct. distinct. Absolutely. No, no, so no. Distinct does not mean separate. What does it mean? It, it means that they're the, the, the differentiators, but they are not separate in that they are all God. So if they weren't all God, then they would be separate. You can't distinguish between a single item. So you cannot distinguish between yourself and yourself. So what I'm saying is that there isn't just one. Plus, if, if you're. Give me one second. I'm trying to find something for you. Because <coughs> if they're not going to merge, there is no merging. Won't change over time. I think. So my understanding would be that there is three separate entities, and all of them are attributed to. Twenty-six, one, twelve. Attributed Sahih to. Sahih Muslim. Sahih Muslim. So. Okay. Uh, this is the thing about about Adam being made in the image image of, of Allah. So. Ultimately, when it comes to the three persons, they are not three entities, right? That would imply three gods. You believe in one God, so one being or entity, so, okay, right? When you're, when you're saying that Jesus, for instance, is made in uh, the image of God. No, what is it? What do you, okay, what is it? We said man is. Man is yes. made in the image of God. Yes, yes. So God has the same appendages. No, that's not what it means. Uh, so the Bible also says that God is spirit, okay. and, we, and we are yes, we have we have a spirit, uh -huh. but we're still in a, a mortal shell. Why is yours different from ours? What do you mean, sorry? You said it's a spirit. So when ours says the same thing, made in His image. Yes. Why is yours spirit and ours physical? Well, because in the Quran and in the Hadith, Allah is described with having 
um, physical appendages. And depending on, depending on what, uh, eyes, a face, a hand, what, uh, I, I got a shin. Uh, shin. Yeah, the, the shin was crazy. I can, I can, I can show, I can, listen, the shin was listen. crazy. Yo, I can show you. Wait, wait, wait. No, no, I'll tell, you, I'll tell you what the issue is. I can I'll show you. you what, no, I'll tell you what the issue is. The shin was crazy. The shin was there crazy. There is a double standard. No, wait, wait. No, because you, wait. The, the reference is the same. Wait. This hadith, okay. The image of God. You're saying here is physical, even though there's no. No, physical. I'm not saying that's physical. Come on, I'm, you're just, no, you're no, just no. No, I, I was, I, I was poking at something where there is a way in Islam that you can argue for it being physical because there are appendages of Allah that are described in the Quran and the Hadiths that essentially, depending on which branch of Islam you follow, Maliki? Assume. Maliki? Yeah, go on, assume. I'm going to assume. No, no, go ahead. Go yeah, on. Maliki or Nay or... Which one do you know best? Huh? Which one do you know best? Uh, um, unfortunately, I, I, I know the, the, the crazy Salafis the best. The crazy Salafis? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The, 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 they're very literalists, right? So, depending on which branch of Islam you follow, you are not capable of um, of negating or affirming the the uh, appendages. So, yes, yes, there's a hand, a face, blah 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 blah. But in a manner in which we cannot conceive of. Why? Because. Created his image. Why can't we conceive of it? Again, it depends on, on your school. For the Salafi guys, you can conceive of it because they have to wrestle with the fact that Allah is described as having created appendages, but also with the knowledge that He is unlike His creation. So the Salafi believes this. Yes. What does the Maliki believe? I am not too certain on the Malikis. I know the Hanafis are, um, are allowed to do um, uh, interpretation. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Of, of these things, right? So, like, for example, with us in the Bible, where it says God is a rock, a shield, uh, he, he's a, a, a buckler, a, a, man, a man of war, we understand that these things are just the scriptures. They're not actually meant to be um, a truth about God. They're not supposed to be true. Yes. So, God is not literally a rock or literally a spear yeah, okay, so or literally a shield. Yes. Too. Yeah. So, I think the Hanafis are allowed to say, oh, yeah, like, obviously, you know, like a rock is, is hard and strong, God is hard and strong, yeah. that kind of thing. Yeah. So, depending on which school you follow, right. you can make the argument that that, 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 that um, is there a person a, is, 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 is like. Is there a school of thought that believes uh, 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 attribution like a rock or whatever you just referred to? God is actually embodied by this rock? So I don't believe that the Quran or the Hadith anywhere talks about Allah being a rock. Or a school of thought, I mean, in that context. These are from the Bible, but if you want literalists, then yeah, the Salafis are, are, are your, your people. Salafis? Yeah, the, the, the literalists. So everything is literally, literally true. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I, and you guys don't strike the literalists. Yeah, yeah. No, I, don't, I, don't believe, I don't believe that's even true, actually. Uh, man, um, just, just go Google like Salafi literalists and then you'll see it. Salafi literalists. Yeah. So they cannot... That's not a uh, bias to, uh, Thing to type in at all. It's not? I'm, I'm arguing against you. I'm saying that what you're typing in Google, yep. this is a very biased uh, it's not bias. research that well, you're doing. It's not, it's, not, it's not biased research. We have a lot of them in the corner, actually. Um, and yeah, like they basically tell me this, right? Yeah. You, Allah has hands, a feet, shin, and eyes, and fingers. But Allah is unlike His creation. So we cannot tell you exactly what these mean. Yeah. So we cannot negate that He has those things because then we're negating an attribute of God yeah. and we cannot affirm it because we don't really understand what it means by hands and face and feet and shin. Yeah. Okay. So that's it. Because yeah. me, I don't know of any school of thought in Islam that has that attribution to God that He can be referred to in the same context as a rock, for instance, as a feature. So if I strike a rock, technically I'm striking God. No, that's not what or, I said. That's or, or, Idolatry, basically. That's not what I said. Okay. okay. Maybe, maybe I, I, I maybe jumped I around too fast. Okay. Allah says in the Quran that nothing is like Him. Okay. You cannot right. So the Salafis will hold to this, but Allah also talks about His hands, His feet, His shin, His eyes, and His face. Allah talks about this. Yes. Where? In the Quran and the Hadith. Okay. Right. The which shin one. Refer, sorry, I, I, I can. Uh, which one do you want? The shin one. Oh, the shin. The shin one. The creator is on for me. The shin one says that. On the day of resurrection, it's a very long day. I can bring it up for you if you want to see it. It's a very long day, right? But halfway, halfway through it, it talks about uh, the Muslims who were resurrected, and then um, Allah will appear to them in a form different from before. Which I is it? Sorry. Surah? It's, 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 it's a hadith. It's a hadith. It's yes. not the Quran. It's a, yes, it's a hadith. Yeah. Is it, is it in the Quran or is it in the Hadith? It's the Hadith. It's the Hadith. It's the Hadith. And the Hadith says Allah will appear, appear to the believers on the day of in, judgment. On the day of judgment in a form different from the one he did before and they will not recognize him. So he will ask them, which form will you recognize? And then they will say, 
uh, show us your shin. So Allah will show them his shin and they will recognize him. Is this Sahih Bukhari? Sahih uh, I, I can't remember. People don't even know God's shin to recognize Well, the Hadith says, says that they will somehow. So. You can't rely on things like that. Oh, okay. You've done your research. Um, it's Sahih. It I has mean, a. Huh? It, I just asked if it's Sahih. It's Sahih. You said I don't know. It's Sahih. I can bring it up for you. Uh, well, one second. Uh, uh, the, they, they, they're learning about Allah's shin. Yeah. That's P for you guys. I don't affirm that. So that's P for you guys. <laughs> no, I, I don't think they do. Uh, I'm not sure what Mahab they follow, but they all appear to be literaturalists. They, We're they, trying they, to understand yeah. the argument that he's making. What's your Aqeedah? Sorry? What's your Aqeedah? So I'm not arguing on the basis of Aqeedah. <laughs> kind of, uh, yeah, but that's what it's going to matter. No, no. He's, what he's asking about is a hadith that I haven't heard about. This is what I'm asking. That's fine, but I'm saying that in our understanding of Sahih al Bukhari. You have to have, you have, to have a firm Aqeedah. So, Sahih Abu Kari 7439. Sorry, do you, do you uh, acknowledge this hadith? Yeah, but to? I would just reject it, given that Allah does not have parts. Right. I don't believe God has parts. But I'm, I'm in a different tradition to you, right. so you might say your, your school is supposed to sound a bit different. Okay, fair enough. 30. Uh, Sahih Abu Kari 7439. Okay. It's, it's, the shin's there. Because at first, yeah. the argument was that uh, God referred to his shin in the Quran. Mm -hmm. Which didn't make any sense. No, in, in the hadith. I, I didn't say no, Quran. Quran I, I said that in the Quran and hadith, Allah refers to like appendages. Hands. You said feet. in the Quran, yeah. Yeah, so there's there's uh, some appendages in the Quran, like like the face and the uh, eyes. Brother, did, and did, did the hands. Have you heard this before? Does Allah refer to his appendages in the Quran? Yeah? I don't know, I'm not a Muslim. <laughs> Apologies, my man. Yeah, you're good, you're good. It's the beard, that's Do you know anything of this? <laughs> yeah, the face, the eyes. You're not, you're not gonna Quran. like my answer to the question. Okay, so for me. Well, I'm, a, I'm a Shia, isn't it? So. No, that's fine, that's fine. No. <laughs> I affirm divine simplicity. So no, no, that's fine, that's fine. To all Again, things, in so. the Quran, you refer to the Quran, yep. but there's no Surah or Ayah that makes reference. Me. Sorry? There's no Surah or Ayah where Allah makes reference. So, I talked about a list of appendages. And I said that they are mentioned across the Quran and the Hadith. Where? So, That's what I, I asked. Which surah, which ayah refers to? I think the better claim for him to say is that Allah repeatedly is referred to as having human-like features. He has, it is a Hadith where Yeah, appendages. Same thing, yeah. In the Quran it says Allah made Adam with his own hands. So I guess what he's trying to ask you is what do you take these things to be in actuality? That's not really what I'm trying to ask him, but, but oh, it, I'm, I'm, I'm just trying to tell him that these things are there. Yeah. That, that, so the that these attributions are, are there. With, yeah. I'm sorry to go back uh, to the beginning of the conversation. Uh, that uh, Allah created us in His form, right? That was uh, in His image. According to Sahih Muslim. So the image He's referring to in Christianity yeah. is in soul or in spirit, yeah. not physical appearance. The soul doesn't have physical appearance. The spirits. So he's, I asked him why He's making that assumption for Christianity and not for the Hadith, yeah. not for Islam. And I'm simply saying that you can claim you, you in, in some traditions you can claim that Allah has body parts. Wait, 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 wait. From what you just said, he was saying that we're in the image of God and he says that this is in what? In Christianity, it's in spirit, is what he's saying. Right. The same reference in the hadith, right. image of God, right. he's interpreting as physical image. Well, in yeah, some, in so some schools. Same reference. Do you schools. believe it's a physical image or, or a non-physical image? Let's assume it's spiritual. Right? Okay. The same way he's. Hey, you're, you're a Christian. You're getting close. Uh, so, so, so then, <laughs> if, if that's the case. He's getting close, man. He's getting close. Oh, we're on the way to tell us. I'm bringing you to that divine simplicity. Hey, man. You actually believe it's a physical. I mean, what's image? next after that, man? You can go be at least a, a, a Jew at that point. <laughs> We wouldn't uh, exist, I'm a Shia, right? except the divine simplicity. Shia now, Allah, alhamdulillah, gave us the spirit. <laughs> that fast? To live. <laughs> so it's spiritual. It's not a physical. Well, well, what, isn't Buddha I also divinely simple no, or, or not like or quiet? Right. Yeah, I, I do not believe that. There's some okay. definitely some neo-platonic ideas. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Definitively, it's not possible. So I'm saying, oh, why, man. Is, why is there a double standard? Why is he interpreting it as physical image for So, I think... Okay, real quick. Yeah. He said he doesn't believe... He said he doesn't believe it's physical, he believes it's spiritual. This means that. I said I cannot prove it to you, right? Say it again. I cannot prove it to you. You can't prove it. I cannot to prove to you that yeah. God looks like me. Oh, yeah, you can't. Yeah. You can't. Okay. So then, my, my, my real quick question is this Do you believe that is in attribute wise meaning? When we're in the image of God, we, we, if we're in alignment with God, we act as God does in our own sort of way. If we're in alignment with God? Right. So, in the context of a Muslim? Right. Is what we're taught in the Quran. Are you being alignment with God? I've got this guy to talk to you. So, he's a Messianic right. Jew. Sorry? Okay. Oh, sorry no, 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 no. A Messianic Jew? Yep. So, 
I'm, I'm basically asking, okay. when it comes to the image of God in the Quran, today, essentially, is that like they're Jewish that saying, and they accept the Messiah? Uh, yep. Is that the saying that the way that you follow really? God? Yep. And the That's way weird. The only one I, I the one I know about, um, no, but like, no, Dr. 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 Brown. So then, yeah, my question, Michael Brown. He's not Unitarian. Why does it say Allah created mankind to sin? Oh God. Yes. yes. We, we, we've so gone somewhere else. Uh, uh, do you reject Allah all, all, all uh, Sunni hadith now? When the Quran says, yeah. which we take yeah. the Quran as a superior to the hadith. Right. Well, 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 Right? If I'm assuming what you're saying. Well, I'm, telling, I'm, I'm just telling everyone here that. Oh, oh I don't want to get rushed. Yeah, yeah, you, you might as well like jo join the Rafferty's and just completely you, ignore Abu Bakr and, and, and Umar. That's exactly I'm, right, I'm okay with no, that. Right. 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 You, see, you see why I had that question? Yeah, 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 we're just talking about the image After of the Prophet of Allah, if that's the case, for six months until Lady Zara and the Prophet of Allah, Ali says that Ali did not skip his old religious to Abu Bakr. He disassociated Abu Bakr. He married his wife and the Prophet of Allah alone. I don't want to say Without telling right. Abu Bakr, right. 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 even Omar, right. if Omar the word and the, the, the text is the same, Ali, Ali does not mean to come to this meeting God. because right. Ali is like Omar. Why is it now physical for us? Ali disassociated from them. We as Muslims, we disassociate from people for a very particular reason because they're not upon what's correct. Ali alayhi salam did disassociate from them because they were not upon what's correct. And then he did the Qiyya and he accepted it so he could guide the Omar and he worked with them to guide the Omar by means of himself. So you have good reason to believe that Imam Ali alayhi salam. He would have pardoned the Prophet of Allah. The importance of repenting, yeah. The importance of repenting, but yeah. he to say he is upon specifically the note that if Allah created us without sin, he would actually swipe us out of existence, and, existence and replace us with people that would sin. And that, that's why he was able to see his own death where it happens. <laughs> the divine knowledge. <laughs> Yeah. See, that's <laughs> this is crazy. So, I'm so, yeah, yeah. Jesus Christ was going to die. In this love, mm -hmm. angels but, yeah. sin. Right? Why do but, they not yeah. sin? But, but, but he, he knew from the jump. He knew he was, he was sitting there to die. Imam Ali realized at some stage. I can choose to sin. I can choose to do something. Yep. If you knew you get raised up the way you die, that is more valuable to Allah. Would you prevent that death or would you want to say, Yeah, I accept the quadrant of Allah. Then the angel does not need to repent. Because it doesn't sin. It, it, would, it would depend, I guess. So, what, really? You're, you're raised what the way you. What if you Why die like getting like, like your head cut off? <laughs> God cannot be so, how, how are you raised? I've, I've sinned so much, I'm, I'm done for. God is reminding you that, look, if you never, if you never sinned, I would prefer that you sinned. Right? I would prefer that you sinned. A part of me doesn't believe him. I can't lie. A part of me doesn't believe him. I am, I, am, I am trying to wrap my head around yeah. this. I think I need to simulate what you said. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. But this is, this is, this is the... Okay, okay. okay. cool. If, um, if all of humanity was to not sin, uh, is less valuable to Allah than humankind. I think we're kind of wrapping up. So, I just spoke to a bunch of people, we talked about a bunch of things, I, 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 try, to, I, try, I try to bring up uh, uh, an argument that a like friend over here brings up all the time about um, Allah's attributes and how they are uncreated and eternal and uh, seemingly not gods along with them, even though that nothing should have the, the, the feature of being uncreated and, create and, and uh, eternal, apart from if it's God. But anyway, I brought that up, they couldn't really answer it. I had a lamb and debate me for a little, a little while, right away again, like he always does. And then we just talked about some general stuff with the guys who were here until they went away. I spoke to a convert, um, an Irish convert to Islam. Um, he told me that the whole Dawah script started. And then after that, he, he left. So, oh, yeah? um, as long as you accept Christ as your Lord and Savior. Sure thing, all right. Take care. And they've all gone. All right, well, that, that's all. So we'll just uh, hope that they, I don't know, at some point find the truth. Maybe at some stage they can actually ask themselves why they believe in what they believe. They wouldn't tell you about their, their Akita, so what the actual articles of faith were. But then they just held that they were Muslims, like general on is um, infallible, blah, 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 blah. I brought up some things to show them that it wasn't, but they weren't really in, in tune to take it in. But obviously, the first time you hear these things, you'll be shocked. So it'll take a while before you actually come to a place where you're capable of an anal analyzing all these problems and then coming to the idea that, it, uh, that it's not true. But yeah, we'll see. We'll be praying for them and then we'll see what happens at the end.